One of the most common things that we do with any collection in Python is process each item of the collection systematically. In other words, we somehow iterate through the collection. When we talk about lists or strings, we oftentimes talk about iterating through the sequence either by position or by item. But with dictionaries, it's a little different because there is no inherent order to the items. And so all that we can do is access the items using the key and getting back the data value. And so the question is, well, how, how do we access each one systematically, making sure that we visit all of the items? Well, it turns out that in dictionaries, the iteration construct, the for construct, is automatically set up to be able to process the items. And so we can do what is referred to as iteration by key. The for statement can simply be used to say for every key in the dictionary. Now, there's nothing special about the name a key. That could be any variable name we wish. But because temps is a dictionary, the way the for statement interprets this now is to say, for every occurrence of a key that is present in the dictionary temps, one iteration will occur. Now what we don't know is the order that those keys will appear. But what we do know is that the keys will all be processed one at a time until they're all complete. And so, for example, if we were simply to say, let's print the value of the variable a key, then what this is going to do is simply provide a very fast way to print out all of the keys in the dictionary. Again, remember, we don't necessarily know the order that those keys are going to be printed, but what we can guarantee is that for every item of the dictionary, this for construct will visit each key and therefore print the key values um, one at a time. Now if we wanted to print out the associated data values for those keys, we could do the similar iteration, but this time we could print out the value of the temps dictionary indexed by that particular key. So remember, if a key is a variable, taking on each value of the key of the dictionary one at a time, then this print statement is guaranteed to eventually print all of the associated data values for every key. And again, we can see that every value shows up. So a typical thing to do might be to print out a table of the keys and the associated values. So for that, we can simply say for every key in the dictionary, let's print the key followed by the associated data value from the dictionary. And if we do that, then we see the key and its data value, the next key and its data value, and so on. So the idea here is that we are iterating by using the underlying structure of the collection and the for statement realizes that we want to visit every key in the dictionary and provides us with a mechanism to automatically do that. We do not have to provide any other structure other than to say for every key in the dictionary and the key will simply be a variable that takes on the values one at a time. Now it turns out that we could iterate by using the dict keys object that is returned by the keys method. So for example, if I created a variable keys obj is temps.keys. So remember now that what this returns is a dict keys object containing a collection of all the keys. It turns out that this dict keys object is something we can iterate over. So if I said for a key in the keys object print 
a key and temp indexed by a key, I get the same result as what I had before. Namely, each key being processed from the dict keys object is printed with its associated data value. So these two for statements do the same thing, but the first one is much more much 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 cleaner because it simply suggests that the for statement will automatically allow us to visit every item of the dictionary using the key. However, what if we wanted to iterate through the dictionary by key, but we want to do it in alphabetical order? Well, now we've got a problem because the default structure of the for statement will not guarantee that we'll visit the keys in any particular order, and as you can tell, January, February, March, April, that is not alphabetized. So what we have to do in that case is somehow reorder the keys and then visit the dictionary according to that order. Well, the only thing we can do here is convert our keys into some kind of a list structure that we can then sort. So now, if we take our keys object, which is a dict keys object, and convert it into a list, keys list is the list function working on the keys object. Now, the keys list is in fact our list of keys, but we can go ahead and use our sort method to sort that list. And then, using iteration over the list for a key in keys list, we can do the same thing we did before. We can print the key and back in the dictionary the data item associated with that key. And now we will get a listing of the months in alphabetical order with their associated temperatures. So we can iterate quickly through the dictionary if we wish to do something without concern about order, but if order is necessary, then we have to take extra steps to somehow gain access to that collection of keys.